Here's a quick and effective isometric core workout to build stability and connection throughout the entire body. This workout will take a little over 10 minutes and we'll be focusing on three base exercises. I invite you to focus on the details I give you throughout the session as they'll make a big impact on your ability to find and stabilize your core. We'll go through three rounds of these exercises, working for 30 seconds and resting for 15 seconds between exercises. We'll progress the difficulty of the exercises each round, so if a variation is too hard for you right now, just stick to the easier variations presented in the previous rounds. Sound good? Sweet. Let's get to work. We're going to get started with the low plank. Lie down on your stomach, press through the forearms into the ground with the elbows underneath the shoulders, and tuck the toes under so you're ready to press up into the plank. Get ready for liftoff in three, two, one. Firmly press through the forearms, through the toes, and lift up into the plank. Feel the rib cage plug into the core, inhaling to expand the back ribs of the body and exhaling to feel the ribs wrap around, closing the front of the torso. Hold the position and get familiar with this pressure, expanding the torso on the inhale and compressing the torso on the exhale. The stability you're creating is what we want to strive for from here on out for the rest of the session. Rest and drop down to your stomach for a breath or two before we hop into the next exercise, the skydiver. Bring the eyes up, lift the head, then lift the legs, and lastly, lift the arms to shoulder height with the arms at a 90 degree angle. This will activate the entire back line of the body. Hold the position and focus on that breathing. Use this exercise to evenly distribute the load throughout the backside of the body. If you feel excess tension in any part of the spine, decrease the amount of extension through the body. Hold this position using both the inhale and exhale to stabilize the core, feeling the glutes and back muscles to support extension. Rest and roll onto your side for the short side plank. Firmly plant the forearm into the ground underneath the shoulder. Bend the knees so you're ready to drive through the forearm to lift the hips up and slightly forward. This will bring the hips in line with the rib cage to stabilize through the side body. Focus on expansion through the torso, and once you find stability, you can progress this exercise by turning the head, looking down at the planted hand, then up to the sky. This small movement allows you to build core stability while moving freely through the neck. It may challenge your balance, so move slowly and pause at any point if needed. Keep breathing, maintaining hips in a diagonal line with the shoulders. Rest, take a breath, and flip it over to the other side. Same setup, elbow underneath the shoulder, knees bent, and ready to lift those hips up in three, two, one. Find stability through the core, feeling a direct line of connection from the shoulder down through the hips. Drive the forearm through the ground to create space in the shoulder and breathe into that space. When you're ready, add that head turn to challenge stability. Keep expanding into this shape with each inhale and feel a strong pull towards your center on each exhale. Rest and take the next 30 seconds to breathe, stretch, and shake out any extra tension. Now that we've got the base exercises down, we're going to bump up the intensity. If at any point it's too challenging for you, meet yourself where you're at and come back to the base move. We're going to progress the plank to a three-point plank by lifting one leg and holding. Take a wider base through the legs for added stability in this one. Drive through the forearms and feet to lift into the plank. Lift the right leg up, maintaining a strong connection through the pelvis and rib cage. Lower the leg if you start to arch your lower back. Embrace the shakes and wobbles by using your breath to stabilize in this hold. Lower the right leg and lift the left leg. Focus on driving through the ground with the forearms and the planted foot to maintain a strong center. Expand into the back ribs on the inhale and wrap the ribs in front on the exhale. Rest all the way down onto your belly before we set up for the reaching skydiver.
Lift up into the skydiver, this time reaching the arms overhead with the thumbs up. Bring your awareness to the belly button. Now imagine reaching all four limbs away from the belly button while simultaneously pulling all four limbs into the belly button. I know it's a weird cue, but breathe into the body and feel it. Maintain your core and expand by reaching out from the core. Rest and take your time getting set up for the short side plank. Drive through the forearm and lift the hips up. Level up by extending through the top leg. This is going to light up both hips as they stabilize the pelvis. Once you feel strong in this position, add the head turns. Stay lifted and connected throughout the side body by driving through the grounded knee and forearm. Own this position by stabilizing through the breath for just a few more seconds. Take a breather and set up for the second side. Quick warning, the leg lift activates both hips, so this second go around may be pretty tough. Lift into the side plank and extend through the top leg. You know the drill by now, I've said it a bunch. Breathe to create stability, embrace those wobbles and shakes, and if you want to challenge yourself, add those head turns. I know you're tired, but stay lifted through those hips, drive through the forearm, and breathe your way through these final five seconds. Rest, two rounds down, one more to go. Awesome work so far. Take the next few seconds to stretch it out and get centered before we ramp it up once again. Same setup, this time we're going into the contralateral low plank. Set up in that wide base for increased stability and start by lifting left arm and right leg for a hold. The wobbles are real on this one. Keep the hips in line with the rib cage and drive through the planted foot and forearm to ground into stability. Come back to low plank and lift the right arm and left leg into a hold. The breaths are probably going to get short, but keep breathing, finding that expansion and compression to maintain pressure through the core. Rest and completely relax on your belly for a breath or two. We'll be going into the skydiver reach and pull next. Lift into the skydiver, inhale, and drive the elbows back as if you pulled a bar to your chest. Exhale and reach the arms overhead while maintaining stability through the torso. Inhale as you pull back through the elbows and exhale as you reach the hands overhead. Maintain extension through the back line of the body and continue to tap into your center with each breath. Rest, we are almost done. Set up on your side. This time we'll be in the long side plank. The leg lift and head turns are there for further progressions, so choose the variation that suits you in this moment. Drive through the forearm and the side of the foot to lift up through the side body. When you're feeling stable, laterally lift the top leg, engaging the hips to stabilize the pelvis. Breathe through the shakes, ground through the foot and forearm, and add slow head turns for increased challenge. Maintain a lift through the hips, stability through the rib cage, and the breath to tie it all together. Take a breather. We've got one more side to finish it out. You've got this. Let's set up in the long side plank. Lift up through the side body and find stability. 
add the lateral leg lift, the slow head turns, or both to increase demand on the body. Find your breath, expand into stability with each inhale, and compress into your center with each exhale. Finish strong. Rest, great work. Now I did lie, we've got one more exercise, the starfish to close things out. We're going to use that weird cue again. Find your belly button, reach through all four limbs from the belly button, and pull all four limbs back into the belly button. It honestly doesn't matter what you do with your limbs, just hold that center and breathe. Last thing before we get started, if you do find yourself arching your lower back, simply lessen the load by lifting and bending the legs. Set up by tucking the chin to bring the shoulder blades off the ground. Then flex the hips, bringing the knees towards the chest. Reach the arms out and extend the legs out as far as you can without arching the lower back. Hold the position, breathe into the shape, expanding on the inhale and compressing on the exhale. Play with different arm and leg positions. You can hit the hollow body position, the outstretched starfish position, whatever. Have fun with it, just maintain that center. Rest, nice work with those isometrics, lots of connection to work with, so we're going to cool down with some spinal movement. Flip over and press back into the hips for the kneeling spinal wave. Drive through the hands, tuck the pelvis, and pull the body forward, continuing to round the spine one vertebrae at a time. As the hips begin to drop, begin to extend through the front of the body. Look up to the sky, and then send it back by tucking the chin, slowly rounding back into the loaded position. Hit that wave one more time, really getting into the spine, feeling all the connection, all the awareness that we built up today. Thank you so much for showing up and putting in this work. If you enjoyed this session, like the video, share it, and subscribe to Smooth for more videos just like this one. Until next time, stay smooth.